Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video I will show you how you can link Notion to your local file system. We will use Anchor Point, which is basically an asset manager, and everything what I will show in this video works also with the free version. So let's get started. So here we are in Notion and here I have all the information about my animation project. So basically my animation project is split up into different shots and the shot is basically like a camera sequence and based on that I can track my whole progress. I also have production files and the production files are on my local computer. They can also be on a Dropbox, on a server, it does not really matter. What I don't want to do, I don't want to upload files into Notion because the process of getting them out back is very cumbersome because I have to download them and bring them from the downloads folder to another location. It's it's not a very fluent workflow, so I always want to have my files accessible from the Explorer or Mac OS Finder. So they are basically here in this project and then there is a subfolder called Shots. And here I have the same list of shots as folders. And inside of the folder I have all my Blender files, my render outputs and also my thumbnail images. So we would like to connect this somehow and in Notion we will use the URL field for this. Because the URL field allows us to create a link and from a link I can open up a web browser for example. But I would like to open up the file explorer and that's why I use Anchor Point because Anchor Point can make the connection from the URL to the file explorer. So let's go back to Windows Explorer and let me go back to the place where my project is located. And from here I would like to open this in Anchor Point. So I do a right click and say open an Anchor Point. And now Anchor Point navigates to this location. And now I need to make a project out of this folder. So a project allows me to create web links from all these files and put them into Notion or to Slack or any kind of other web application. So for that I simply use the create a project button and I leave it as it is, I press continue. I leave the name as it is, I also press continue and I don't want to assign any members from my workspace. So I just press create project. So now this is currently a project. It's basically indicated that I have an icon here on the top right corner. And now I browse to the shots folder and I go to my first shot. And here in the top right corner, I have this chain icon called copy app link. If I click this, I copied a link to clipboard. Now I need to go to Notion and create a URL field and we call this project files. Then inside of the link, I paste it and you see that I have a web link here. And when I click on this, the web browser will open up and bring up Anchor Point and Anchor Point will navigate to the folder here. So that's basically all. This is how we connected folders to Notion. It's a very smooth workflow. I don't need to copy and paste file paths, which are also different on Mac and Windows. I simply click on the link and Anchor Point will open up this folder here. I could enhance that because I have also a set of animation clips here and I would like to connect them to Notion as well. So for that, first of all, I need to enable the version stacking that I only have one object here in Anchor Point. And then I can do a right click on the file here and say as well, copy app link. Then I will close that and bring Anchor Point down and go to Notion. And here I create a new URL property and we call this latest version. And then we paste this link again. And now when I click on this, it will also open up the web browser and now it opens up Anchor Point and navigates to the corresponding file. So imagine you have a lot of files and a lot of folders. This is a very nice way how you can connect your files and folders and bring them to Notion, which is basically your source of truth. Everything what I showed you works with a free version of Anchor Point. If you want to implement this in a team, let's say in your organization, in your studio, you need to have a paid version of Anchor Point because there you can invite members into your project and you can share everything between your team. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.